How we doing today, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. Today's gonna be a little bit of a show and tell, slightly, but I just kind of wanted, some of you guys have asked me this in the past, to talk about some of my favorite photos that I've taken. Um, this is a little bit difficult for me because, well, number one, it's hard for me to, I, I, it's hard for me to choose favorites out of anything. But number two, like, when it comes to my work, you know, I have, a, I have a, a, you know, a special affinity to all the different images and shoots to a lot of different ones, you know, for various different reasons. Uh, but I thought would, it'd be a nice episode. I mean, I have a pretty free week since I got back from Japan. So just kind of go in and look at a few images, maybe five or so. Um, it was going to be some film images that I like, but I thought I'd throw in this digital one to go in with the batch. But you may not even be able to tell it's a digital one at first glance. And just kind of tell you a little bit about the story about each photo and why I like it. Uh, and if you do like this episode, like always, you know, let me know in the comments. And I can make another one with more images. And, you know, leave a like, subscribe, and let's get right into it. Enough talking. Also, if you're new here to the channel, my name is Gabriel Perez Silva. I'm a fashion and celebrity photographer based out of New York City. So, like I said, you guys, this is going to be a little bit of a show and tell going on. Um, I am going to put the digital up on the screen as well, but I just happen to have this this frame right here <laughs> as you can see there's quite a bit of frames I mean, there's a lot more that you can't see behind me we're here in the studio right now but i happen to have one this one right here and it's also a one image that i really like um and i really enjoy for various reasons this is completely you know this image is completely completely non-photoshopped it's completely just like you know what I saw in the moment is straight out the camera. This is on film. I believe I shot this. I know I'm certain that I shot this on a Canon AE-1. Um, it's, it's, I've talked about this camera in the past in other ways. I don't remember where they were, but it's actually a very special camera to me. Um, my, my favorite professor, my psych professor, gave it to me before leaving the first university I was at. Um, and it's. It was pretty much my go-to film camera up until recently. Um, you know, yeah, up until recently, really. And I also just don't shoot that, shoot that much film um, any anymore for various reasons. But now, getting into the image, I mean, this is Giovanna Ventura. Um, <clears throat> let me hold it up so there's no glare. Well, there is gonna be glare, so. I'll just hold it like this and then show it in the digital file on this side. But this is Giovanna Ventura, right? You know, super lovely person to begin with. I love working with her, um, as you'll see in this video. But anyways, this is one of our first times working together. And one of the things that I love so much about this image, you know, obviously, you know, looking at it, the gaze is really capturing. It's a very, um, what do they call it when people say like, oh, give me like a, like not a glare but you know like a like a like a it's not a smeeze but kind of you know is that really called a smize you know like a serious smile type of thing i don't know but it's like like you know the slight amount of hair on her face like i really like that um you know like the 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 pants kind of hang where they are and some of that bathing suit showing i really i really think that came out great you know, the, the, the framing of it, like, you know, where, the framing of her, of where she is within the image, um, I think all works amazing. Now, what I love about this image, what really makes it stand out to me, right, get this, is that, again, this is straight out the camera. There's, if you look at this photo, she's perfectly centered um, within three whole different stories happening at once. And I, I didn't plan this at all. Like these, <laughs> these are not background extras. These are just people in the ocean. Like, she's in the middle of all this. There's two guys over here, just, you know, three guys over here just staring off into who knows what, into the ocean, enjoying the scenery. There's one guy over here just enjoying, having the time of his life, you know, floating on his back. And then there, there's some, some kid over here, you know, doing a handstand with his legs hanging out of the water, and it frames her completely, like, perfectly all around. I mean, you can't make this stuff up, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but, nah, I mean, that, I think that is fantastic. Like, 
And, the, and I think this looks great as a, as a print. But one of the things I would change if I could is maybe I would have cleaned up his hair a bit. But when I shoot a film, I think one of the things that makes it even more special and lovely is the imperfection kind of nature of it. So I'm also not too, you know, worried about it. And there's always another shoot the day after, and I could always go back and edit it if I really wanted to. For the second image of this video, we're gonna be going back into the show and tell vibe, and I have with me right here, oh, oh, right here, another one of, I think, my favorite images, really. Um, especially for like, you know, look at this little print. I mean, this is an eight by 10 and maybe even smaller. No, this is like a, no, this is like, this is an eight by 10. This is a five by 11. And I mean, you know, even in this sizing of print, like this is, this is fierce, you know, you could really do a lot with this, hang it up anywhere. Um, and it just kind of, it stands out. It says a lot. I mean, this is one of my pinned photos on my Instagram for a reason. Um, the pin set, there's a whole, the whole set of images in there if you want to check it out on my Instagram at underscore youngshot. But I mean, this is, this is a fantastic image in my opinion. I think, you know, it shows a bit of a, a duality here. Um, it kind of gives me that, uh, and I mean, this is kind of in my head right now just because I've been following. I like to watch a lot of news on YouTube and a lot of like uh, rap, you know, updates and rap, stuff like that, rap news, whatever sometimes, and news in general every morning, but I've been I've been kind of following up on the y w YNW Melly case. <clears throat> I'm not a fan of his, but I'm just like intrigued because I mean, it's been like four or five years, but I was watching one of the videos and his whole Melly, um, you know, Melly Melvin album cover they showed as an example. And it's kind of like him smiling on one side and him next to it, it's like serious. But I mean, you know, to begin with, this, is the, this model is Jessica Stroder. She's also great. Um, and this is her cat. And I mean, it, it, I think it's just like, it's just like amazing. It gives me yin and yang vibes, you know? Um, and this isn't to gas up my own work, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is how I really feel. Like if I was, you know, talking about somebody else's work and this was the image or whatever. Like, I think this goes great. I think it looks film, it, it, it's like, it's also kind of framed great. Like this is one of those shots that you know I'm, I'm, I'm really pleased with. Um, and this, I don't know if you can see, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you'll see because I'll put up the digital file right here. It has a lot of like, like it's like, it's like rough, you know, there's a lot of texture in it. And I really appreciate that in this image as well. Now for image number three. This one I don't have a print with you guys. No show and tell for this one. So I'll put it right here digital. But this is, um, this is taken on film as well, like I said, with the AE-1. Um, this is of a model, Essence, Essence Taylor. She's lovely as well. <laughs> and I'm not saying it just because it's YouTube, dude. Like, I'm telling you, like, I mean, if they weren't lovely, I just wouldn't mention they were lovely. Um, but these, these people have been really lovely. And, I, I, and I've shot her, I shot her a few times. She like, moved to LA for a while, but this photo was actually taken in my apartment. Um, like a few, a while ago, maybe like, this is maybe like, this is during the pandemic, pandemic or right before it started. But pretty much I was at home with my boy Blessed, if y'all remember him. And she came over, we were shooting some stuff. This is when I was like with a lot of vintage stuff. So we were just kind of trying some stuff on, whatever, seeing how it looked. But I took this, there was like, there, I had big windows in my room and, and that morning light in Brooklyn would come in nicely. And you know, I just took this photo and you know, obviously, you know, this is no, this, this, this whole hand in front of face is nothing new, but I think in this image, like, I think it takes it to another level. It makes it new. You know what I'm saying? It's not just a classic outside. Like, oh, you know, like, I just think like, like between like the, the, the soft kind of glow and slightly golden and, and like tint and like the perfect hand mark, like the five fingers like on her face, like perfectly where they should go. You know what I mean? Like her mouth covered how it is with like, like a shadow on it, like, but making her teeth look really like lovely and like the glare of her golden ring finger. Like this shot is lovely. Like I, I gotta find this original file. I took a screenshot off my Instagram again for this one, but I'd, I'd like to make this a print. And some of that, like, 
some of that kind of um, distorting at the, at the edges of the image from the film lens. I mean, this is a beautiful image. On to the next photo. This one is gonna be... Damn, there's some more I wanted to include, but I think I'm just gonna like make a separate part two video. Talk about a few more in that one. Um, but then the next, what is this, the fourth? What is this, the fourth photo I'm gonna talk about is gonna be, again, I don't have a frame for this one, but again, the digital one's gonna cover right here. So this photo, so this is a portrait, but I think for me, I really appreciate portraits. I think they're really strong. They can really, you know, captivate the audience. Um, they can really pull you in closer to the image. Um, and this particular subject is Ducky Thought. Um, I took this photo really my first few months in New York City. I was interning, you know, fresh off the plane, fresh out of Florida, um, here in New York. And I was interning and a lot of models were coming through the agency. You know, I was filing papers and all that nonsense, but I would keep a camera on me. I'd keep a film camera on me. I think it was a Pentax K1000 I'd keep on me at that time. Um, and I was shooting this black and white film wherever I could and one day she came in and I'm like dude like can I take a portrait of you real quick um, because I was trying to build as like as I went you know what I mean like and, and that was my way of doing it without obviously doing a full shoot and that's a big model and like you know I couldn't have done a full shoot with her at the time I just started so I took this portrait of her and she was wearing this hat that I feel like adds in to the fact that I'm using really old school black and white you know Illiford film and she was wearing this this hat that looks like you know it's like, it looks like it could be like a world war ii hat or something you know and i just think this portrait like you know came out sick um i mean for the simplicity of it like you know the it just i feel like it speaks volumes and the hat just kind of topped it off with like the black and white slightly sepia that i gave it afterwards i don't edit my film a lot but sometimes i'll tweak it slightly i think if you do too much to it then it just like looks like garbage digital you know what i mean but i think this this looked nice especially for being from that time that era where it was like early you know when i first got here where it was like it was where it was 2018 uh, i'm happy with that i mean not every shot has to be super planned i mean that's never really been my mo i like canvas stuff as well and for the final shot of this video that i will be talking about i'm bringing back into the video somebody that i may have familiarized really with and oh man there's some <laughs> there's some dirt on this one there's some hairy stuff on it we're back to Yovana <laughs> uh, but what's it called um, this photo like I mean dude this photo Again, as a print, is beautiful. Um, this photo looks like it was like done like a, it was like a set design in the studio kind of. This was in film too. Um, again, the eighty one I shot this on. It's just like you know the the orange hue of her and the bathing suit in contrast with the blue like really blue hue of the sky. Um, I think it's it's an amazing contrast. Then on top of that, the the texture of the image already to begin with, but then the texture of like the the what's it called like like uh like what's that word for like rocks with holes in it like um I forgot <laughs> but anyways like the texture of that the the limestone or whatever it is the, the rock um, combined with the fact that the rock is in focus and she's like slightly out of focus and and um and and, and the kind of cherry on top being like the, the the big clunky circular earrings just kind of like you know just kind of there in her like slightly you know tiger cheetah pose going on like with a gentle paw hanging down <laughs> like man i think it's i think it's a really nice shot and i think the thing is like you know for a long time i worry like like you know do I have a style? Like, do you know? Because I shoot a lot of different things, a lot of different ways sometimes, and I enjoy that. But then, the thing is, when I put these different shoots together, these different images, 
you know, film, digital, whatever it is, like together, like you can see on my website, on my portfolio, like in some way, somehow, they, 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 they go together, you know what I mean? They, they end up fitting together, like, like, you know, and they, they complement each other and they look cohesive. Um, but it's still something that I feel like I'm developing more. Like when you think you have it, you're, you're like, mm, maybe not. You're at my own style. Um, Cause I thought about making a video on how to find your own style as, artist, as an artist, but I'm like, you know, do I really even know my style yet? It's, it's an ongoing thing at the moment. Um, but, but yeah, that's, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed these images. Um, and let me know if you want me to make another video like this, if it's helpful, if it's just enjoyable to listen to. And, and yeah, and I'll, and I'll check back on with you guys for the next video. I have a photo shoot coming up in Hawaii that I did that I'll make a little video for. And like always subscribe, like hit a comment. I always keep my eyes on the comments and reply and try to take that advice and, and video ideas and, into mind for the next ones. Um, and also, I could do a video like this. I did this on Instagram Live during the pandemic when I used to use TikTok and all that stuff more. But I could do like a photo critique of, of my followers' work if that's something y'all would be interested in. But let me know if you made it this far in the video. I really appreciate you. Have a nice day, you guys. Bye.